Hey Rose, it's Monday, January 6th, and you're actually in the other room. Today should be your first day back to work after winter break, but something about polar vortex, blah 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 blah, it's really freaking cold. So your school got the day off, and you're here. Like when I woke up this morning, it was negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit outside, with a wind chill of negative 30 degrees. Like, I kind of wish I had gone outside to feel it, because I've never felt air that cold before. I feel kind of lame, because sure, there are some places where this is a normal winter temperature, but not here in Kansas. Sometimes it drops below zero degrees a few times during the winter, but not very often. So this is kind of gross, but yesterday I spit on the edge of the table on our back patio, and the spit froze into an icicle before it could even drip off the edge. Like, I probably should have shaved today, but I think I'm just going to keep it around, keep my face warm. So since it is so cold, I thought I'd give a quick rundown on how dangerous cold weather like this can be. For starters, as mammals, we are warm-blooded, which means unlike cold-blooded animals like fish and reptiles, whose body temperature changes with their environment, ours stays the same. Like, really the same, to a tenth of a degree. In fact, we're all generally about 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The reason for this is that we are full of different chemicals called enzymes. These enzymes control pretty much every function of your body, and they do it by going through controlled chemical reactions with other chemicals inside of you. If you know chemistry, then you know that different chemical reactions tend to work best under certain circumstances. For instance, a specific temperature. Well, over time, evolution selected for people whose bodies ran at the ideal temperature for the enzymes in our body to run at their maximum efficiency. And here we are, 98.6 degrees. You might think, hey, the freezing point is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, so as long as my body temperature stays above 32 degrees Fahrenheit, we're fine, right? That is way wrong! You would be way dead before then! A change of even a few degrees is deadly. This is why if you run a fever over 100 degrees, you're probably in trouble. The same way if your body temperature drops by even a few degrees, you're gonna be in trouble because the enzymes in your body just don't work as well. Like hypothermia is classified as an internal temperature of 95 degrees, a drop of just three degrees. But don't go freaking out just yet. It turns out our bodies are actually really good at maintaining that ideal temperature. For instance, when we get too hot, we sweat and we release moisture through our breath. This this moisture has heat trapped in it, which allows us to get rid of that heat really quickly. When we're too cold, our body constricts the blood vessels in our extremities. This increases the friction of the blood traveling through our veins, giving us more warmth. At the same time, it concentrates more of the warm blood in our torso with all of our organs and stuff. Also, our muscles can create extra heat energy by rapidly firing, also known as shivering. If, however, you are exposed to extreme cold for a lengthened period of time and your body cannot create heat faster than you're losing it, then you're in trouble. Your body will completely close off the veins in your extremities, sacrificing them in order to save your core. Then you'll become increasingly delirious and confused as the enzymes in your brain are no longer functioning at maximum efficiency. Where am I? It's so cold. I think I'll just take a nap right here in the snow. But. Soon after, your failing enzymes will cause your organs to shut down one by one until finally you die of a cardiac arrest when your heart eventually stops. Not fun. Protect yourself is by keeping wrapped up in non-cotton layers. Cotton just breathes too much, so try wool or something heavy. Basically what I'm not doing. I think this is probably cotton. Ah, 100% polyester. That's better, I guess. I don't really know. Just keep wrapped up with a lot of layers. So just use this as an excuse to cuddle up and watch movies all day, which I'm going to do now. Rose, tell everyone you'll see them on Wednesday. I'll see y'all on Wednesday. Bye. Bender is trying to be warm. Are you warm, Bender? You want me to leave you alone so you can nap some more? Oh, falling asleep.